They called the race the Melbourne Cup on the recommendation of committee men Captain Robert Standish, who wanted to get away from running races similar to those staged by the rival Victoria Jockey Club. Amazingly, the first winner, Archer, was walked from Nowra in New South Wales to Melbourne to keep his appointment at Plymouth. Archer was one of 17 runners and he romped home by six lengths. Despite the winning margin, it took him three minutes and 52 seconds to cover the distance. Maybe it was the long walk beforehand which took the edge off him, but it was the slowest time ever recorded for a Melbourne Cup. The following year, Archer lumped 10 stone 2 pounds for a more convincing win, this time by eight lengths, and the weight he carried is still the second highest by a winner. There was to be a connection with Archer's hometown of Nara in another cup more than 100 years later. It happened like this in 78. And so called trying to thread his way through the field. Coming at them also is Dan DeLeet. Arwan gets the split. Bulmers took the lead. Arwan raced to him now with Carew the outside. Arwan just the leader. Carew trying to peg him back from Bulmers. Then so called and Dan DeLeet. But it's Arwan in front near the cup. Dan DeLeet getting through in the centre. But Arwan the outside has won the cup about a neck to Dan DeLeet. A neck away third. Carew yes, Arwan was the hero that day. His connection with Archer, Arwan, spelt backwards, is Nara. Demestra won three more cups after Archer's dual successes. With Tim Whiffler in 1867, Chester in 1877, and Calamia the following year. 